Hello everyone, my name is Bill and today we're going to be showing you a bit of a bonus feature in relationship to our last video in which I showed you how to create this earth. So if you haven't seen that video yet, I suggest you go watch it first, get to this point, and then today what we're going to do is we're going to take it from here and we're going to create this image. It's using the same geometry, all we have to do is rotate our earth a bit, we have to uh, rotate our sun a little bit, and we have to add the lens flare. So, let's move on that. This is where we left off on our last render. I'm just going to reposition things here a little bit, and bring my whole camera into view. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is kind of rough in where we want the earth to be looking. I kind of want to be looking at this this west coast of North America in our new image. So we're going to kind of rough that in. We'll orient ourselves. We're going to rotate our, make sure that your planet control empty is selected. We're going to rotate it along the x-axis and kind of figure out where things are. So we're going to need to rotate up Roughly like that. We're going to rotate around the Y axis. Bring it a little to the right hand side like that. Okay, good. Now let's grab our camera. We'll look at it from this side. We're going to need to change the focal length of the camera. We need it to be a little bit stronger, or otherwise what you'll see is um, when we zoom in, it's not quite as... The curvature of the Earth is more pronounced than what I want it to be. So I'm going to increase the focal length of my camera and bring it in nice and tight. Now you can see that we have to rotate our Earth just a little bit again. We rotate along the x-axis. I'm gonna go ahead and rotate along the z-axis too. I don't like how the how uh, Central America is kind of pointing off at this angular axis or angular way. I'd rather it be a little bit more perpendicular. So I'm going to rotate along the Z like that. And this will be more fun in the final render anyway because we get more clouds. And let's see, let's get a final position on our camera. Let's Bring it around right there, and we'll call that good. Now, we have to still position our sun. So we'll select that, and we'll rotate it around like that. What you can see here is that this now the sun, while behind the Earth over here, is illuminating this northern portion so I actually want it the other way around so I'm going to go ahead and grab the sun I'm rotating by the way I'm rotating around the cursor if you hadn't noticed that yet okay I want it about like that I think so that the you get a lot of this beautiful specular glow coming off of the ocean. You have a nice bright highlighter over here. And yeah, I think I like it there. Okay. So those things being done, since we've got this really strong light here, we're not going to be able to get away with the 192 samples that we used on our last render. So I'm going to bump this up quite a bit. I'm going to go ahead and bump it up to 1500. Now, this earth, when we rendered it, took hmm, 20 minutes or so. 
this one is going to be substantially longer. It's going to be you know, a couple of hours worth of render time for me. So I'm going to go ahead and set this render loose and we'll pick up with our compositing nodes and what we have to tweak there when it's done rendering. Here we go. Okay, now that we've gone through the rendering and compositing phases, we just need to adjust our composite nodes. Let me go ahead and close these. I'm not going to need them for the time being. And what you'll notice right off the bat is that this edge between the earth and raw space is a little too hard. Now it was fine when we were looking at the whole earth, but here looking at it really closely, it just doesn't work anymore. So we'll first start by adjusting. Let me show you where I'm working. We'll start by adjusting both this blur node and this blur node. We'll bump them up to about 20 a piece. And if you remember from the original tutorial, this is just what we use to blend the atmosphere into space. And once this is done compositing, we'll have a much nicer fall off. Okay. The next thing you want to do is take this earth the atmospheric glow, it ends right about here, and it's not quite far enough. And we got our atmospheric glow for the whole Earth right here. So we're going to bump that up to, say, 225 or so. And we'll look at the result when it's done. Now, we're not going to really have to adjust the color settings or anything along those lines. We accomplished all of those with our original settings. So now our glow is more gradual as it should be instead of being very tight and close right over here. And there really shouldn't be much more that we need to do to this. Let's go ahead and add in a lens flare to sort of set it off. I'm going to hit V here to shrink down our composited image just so that we can see the whole thing and I'm going to go ahead and append our lens flare geometry. Now, if you're not familiar with it, I released a lens flare rig to blend swap some time ago and I'm just going to go ahead and where I have it downloaded, I'm going to find it, I'm going to append here, I'm going to append a scene lens flare. Now I'm going to add group, the lens flare ng group, and we'll do it just here to at the very end we'll add it on. All right. Oops, I added that to the wrong spot. I needed to add it right here. Okay. Now. If you've watched my lens flare tutorial, you'll know that I have to append the lens flare geometry right here. I'm going to do that by adding the render layers. For the lens flare, right there. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to 3D view. I'm going to switch to the lens flare scene. And in our Earth scene, our Earth sits right up in here. And the sun is actually kind of over here-ish. So we're going to go ahead and move this lens flare rig over to there. And we're going to rotate along the Z. And I'm rotating in the wrong spot. I'm rotating around the cursor. I need to be rotating about the medium point. Let's put it right about there. Let's go ahead and scale along the ZZ, ZZ axis. There we go. And 
right about up there. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and render this. And since I'm in the scene, all it's going to render is this scene here. And there we go. It's composited our lens flare over our... Um, actually, this is the old Earth from... that's like built into the lens flare grid. So what I'm going to do is I'm come back over here to our new one. That old image is distributed with the lens flare so that you can have some instant gratification. We're doing this version of it. Let's go ahead and go into our node editor. Now that we have the lens geometry, it's going to composite that lens flare over on top of this instead of rendering it on top of that other older image. It's pretty good, but we want to go ahead and increase the brightness. We're at 0.6 now. Let's go ahead and see what 1.2 looks like. Okay. And let's go ahead and increase the glow as well. Let's take it up to say. Now we doubled the other one. Let's go ahead and double this one. And there we have it. I'm pretty happy with where that is. So without very much work at all we get the and using the same geometry we get this beautiful earth scene let's go ahead and look at it here it's beautiful there you go i hope you enjoy